welcome or welcome back to Maya's Glow. Happy 2020. I hope you're having an amazing start to the new year. And for the first video of the year, I thought I'd take you guys through how I do my at home blowout and also inspire you guys to try and blow out your hair at home. I am starting off with freshly washed hair. I had already washed my hair the night before and I do have a video on my wash day routine so do check the description box for a link to that and I'm going to start off by unraveling one of the sections. I like to work in sections whenever I'm styling my hair and I'm just going to unravel it and mist it with water. Since I'm going to be using heat it's so important for me to try and retain as much moisture in my hair as possible to seal in that moisture i'm going to be reaching out for my shea organics whipped shea butter which is divine i am so obsessed with it it's an amazing product so i'm just going to use a little bit and i'm going to run that through my hair from roots to ends I'm going to reach out for my afro comb and I'm just using it to detangle my hair a bit further especially my ends they get tangled so fast just to make it easier when I'm actually going in with the blow dryer. To protect my hair from any heat damage I'm going to be using my Fantasia IC heat protector hair polish and it's just going to act as a buffer between my strands and the heat from the blow dry and it also gives my hair a really nice shine. And now for the star of the show, I'm going to be using this compact hair dryer from Philips. It works really well and I've had it for years now. And I'm starting off by using the cool to warm setting and I'm doing the tension method in this particular clip just to stretch the hair a bit further. To blow out the hair, I'm going to be using this afro comb attachment and I'm just starting off by blowing out or straightening the ends. My ends tend to be the most tangled and so I'm just blowing them out and I'm going up. So I like to move from ends all the way up to the roots and I'm just taking my time with this. There is no rush when it comes to straightening or blowing out my hair. I like to take my time so that I go through the hair really really well with the blow dry and also um, to prevent any damage or breakage from trying to move too fast with the blow dry. This particular blow dry didn't come with the afro comb attachment so I had to buy it separately but I really like this particular attachment because it's actually made to fit a variety of different types of blow dryers so do check out the description box for a link to my blog where all the items used will be listed. So once I'm done with that section, this is what the hair looks like. It's quite straight though the ends are still a bit tangled but we'll get back to it. So I'm just going to clip it away and move on to another section. I'm going to repeat the exact same process on all the other sections of my hair. So I'll start off by unraveling the section and misting it with water to impart moisture and I'll just rub that in and then I'll go in with my Shea Organics Lush Whipped Shea Butter and just run it through my hair and make sure my ends are well coated as well. And then go in with my afro comb to just detangle further and make things much easier when I go in with the blow dry. And finally to protect my hair from any heat damage, I'm reaching out for my hair polisher heat protectant. Just like in the previous section, I'm starting off by doing the tension method to help my hair stretch a bit further. And once I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to start using my afro comb and just go through my hair strands, starting with my ends, going up all the way to my roots.
once I was done, I just twisted the hair and clipped it away. I like to just keep my hair in sections throughout the entire process. It makes life so much easier. To straighten my hair even further, I like to go in with this attachment and I'm going to accompany it with a brush to really grab on those strands and just to make sure that I get as many strands as possible straightened going to go in with the brush and the blow dry i'm using the high heat setting at this point so this blow dry only has the cool to warm setting and the high heat setting and that's what i'm using in this particular part and i'm just following the brush with the blow dry so i'm going in with the brush and following through with the blow dryer and i'm focusing mainly on my ends because as i said before my ends tangle like crazy and i'm just going to repeat the same process over and over again this is how the section looks once i am done the brush really comes through and helps straighten my hair especially my ends my ends are still not fully um straight but i like to leave it at that I basically did the exact same process on all the other sections of my hair moving from ends to roots and getting my hair to be as blown out as I desire it to be. So this is the completed look. I'm so, so happy I'm finally done. My arms do get a bit tired in the process. But yeah, this is how it turned out. When I do my at-home blowouts, I don't like my hair being bone straight. I do like it having a bit of volume and also it's um, straight enough for me to braid it. I don't need it to be bone straight to braid it but this is how I basically do it. I would love to know how you guys straighten your hair at home or do you guys only go to the salon to straighten your hair. I do like going to the salon when I want my hair to be bone straight or when I'm going to flat iron my hair but otherwise I just do everything at home so do let me know your comments if you do like this video please please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already i mean subscribe be sure to also press the notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload and you don't miss out on any of my future content thank you to everyone who's been supporting me i really really appreciate you guys and i can't wait to see you in my next video